giving you a sneak peek of the brand new Packers Pro Shop. Emily is live with more Good Morning M. And I don't want to leave Rachel and Pete. But well, you don't place. have to. You know, I think they have you know Packers sleeping bags yeah. and pillows. You can just set up camp. They. They do have chairs, but I have a feeling security is going to come over and say, Miss Dean, we're going to have to ask you to leave. You've been here since uh, 4.30 this morning, so if you don't mind booking it out of here. And I have to put a story together for the evening news, so i got to go back to work after this. But it's awesome in here. It doubled in size. This Packers Pro Shop is opening this morning at 9 a.m. And I have with me a very special man, James Geyer, with 555 International. Not only did he design this place, but built this place as well. James, what was your vision? Uh, creating an environment for the Packer fans that was very special. Uh, really trying to exude the grit tradition of the team, the history of the team, but take a tremendous amount of uh, beautiful merchandise product, uh, organize it in a, in a wonderful way where it was easy to shop, uh, a lot of wow opportunities as you walk throughout the space, uh, creating a, a one-of-a-kind of experience for the Packer fans. Well, how about, James, we tell everybody the area we're standing in right now? Uh, this is the main cash area in the center of the store. We have a lot of features within this area, our color-changing lighted football above, that uh, computer control, thousands of colors, uh, a main central area where you can figure out how to get to and uh, close out your sales uh, throughout the end of the day after you've walked throughout the shop and looked at uh, the various departments we have of all the wonderful merchandise. And even as I look up over here, I mean, I see Bart Starr, Ray Nitschke, everything that's on the ceiling to honor those past players. Yeah, we, we, there's a rich tradition. It's a very important thing to uh, show the fans, uh, young fans, old fans, uh, really love seeing the, the old imagery, uh, uh, trying to educate those fans, but in a, in a very contemporized, fashionable way. And uh, we, we always want to celebrate the, the team and the history of the team and the players and the retired numbers and the names. And the kind of feel that you wanted someone to have when they walked into the doors. I mean, it's like almost like a high-end department store when you walk in here. Yes, it was planned that way. A small specialty department store. There's so many wonderful product classifications now in the branded merchandise uh, and the non-branded merchandise. And we want it to be very organized. And uh, if you were here as a grandma or grandpa looking for something for your for your grandchildren, it was very easy to get to and identify and be in the world of the kids department. We have better men's goods, better women's goods. So really organize it as a walking tour through many, many departments and all the great products. And when you were telling me about what you designed and what you built, you came over here and you said, I do this, I do this. Like, tell me about these things that you put together. Uh, everything in the store is custom, designed, purpose built whether it's the, uh, the uh, Packer icon at the end of all of our T-stands and racks, the perimeter fixtures, the lighted illuminated columns, everything certainly uh, to be another wow, every turn you took, every detail you looked at, and an experience that you'll want to come back and see again and again and again. And uh, you probably will have to because there's so much in here. Yeah, you probably couldn't take it all in, and that's the idea, that everybody goes home and they tell their, their friends and their family, Wow, you can't imagine. And it's a, it's a feast for the eyes every single time you want to come in. I, well, I love it. So you got my vote. Everything looks awesome in here. You can go to our website to learn more. It opens up at 9 this morning. There will be a ribbon cutting ceremony happening too. Coming up in the 8 o'clock hour, I'm going to be talking to Mark Murphy, president and CEO of the Packers. Can't wait for that to see how excited he is about this as well. James, thanks for being with us. We'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Sam.